Good morning. Um, okay, so it was brighter before I started recording. Um, it's not bright outside, so let's pray real quick. Lord, we thank you for this day, and although the sun is not shining, we know that your sun is shining in us. So, Father God, we thank you. We pray that as we embark upon this new year that you would give us fresh revelation, fresh ideas, fresh strategy, Father God, and that you would enable us to reflect back and to learn from our missteps in previous seasons, Father God, and that you would enable us to keep you first in all that we do, Father God. We just thank you. We thank you for another opportunity, Father God, to discuss your word, to discuss things related to you, Father God, because we are your children, Father God, and though in this world we are not of this world father god so we pray that you would just enable us to walk out our faith in every single area of our life and make you lord and savior lord of all father god you are the savior but we pray that you would help us to make you lord of all to include our finances father god and we pray that you would give us generous hearts father god and that we will walk in the understanding that none of it is ours anyways that you own all the cattle on a thousand hills it's all yours, Father God, and you love us enough and you bless us, Father God, to be stewards of what you give us, Father God, and that if we are faithful and few, you'll make us ruler over many, Father God. So we just thank you. It is in your sweet son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, so um, I'm going to do this really, really quick. I actually got two words, and this one is going to kind of, it's going to like set us up for the next one that's how it kind of laid out so i'm gonna just tell you about some dreams i've been having and it's funny because i ain't just recently had these like i had they're gonna light see it just changed i had a few of them maybe like um two three weeks ago and then some it even goes back to like a little bit um to september so with that let me just knock this first part out first i've been dreaming of new cars and um even in my I don't know if it's the Christian Campus video. It's one of the videos on the Life of Mimo channel, but I was telling y'all how like when he was sending me out on my assignment, I had a new truck and my guardian angel was like, hey yo, like he got that for you. Like he take good care of us, don't he? And I don't know if y'all have seen that video, but um, that's relevant. That's so important right now, right? Like he, he gives us the things that we want while we're out here on these assignments, right? Um, so I had a new truck in that video and that stood out to me, but I in some other dreams I've had, even that weren't about like being rewarded or being blessed, you know, just different things going on. I always noticed it was a new truck. And I'm like in the dream, I'm, I remember thinking in multiple dreams, like whose truck is this? This type of car, you know, that I like. I'm like, whose truck is this? Like who truck is we in? And so that's been happening in a lot of my dreams. Um, so with that, I think a lot of us can expect new cars. And hear me out. I know some people are in need of a car, right? um i'm not in need of a car um per se i know that the car that i have that that is not the car that i would need for like a family and so like the the truck i keep talking about that's the one for years i've always said you know like um that's like my mom car you know so i don't know if that's why he keeps showing me that i'm i'm really not sure but for a lot of us for a lot of y'all um I think you can expect a car in your future, okay? So listen, cause I keep seeing them. And remember though, I'm saying I've been having dreams like this since September. It's January, so it's been like four months. I'm not looking for a new car or anything like that right now. But um, hey, so if you are, he out here giving us cars. <laughs> no, but seriously, he's giving us um, the things that we need, the things that we desire while on these assignments, okay? So that might be for somebody. Now with that, not only have I been dreaming about cars i've been dreaming about checks and that's what i really want to talk about real quick this morning um i had two separate dreams i would say like in the last month that was about um coming into money and just having checks and when we got the stimulus check because i hadn't even been i wasn't keeping up with that this go around like you know the first stimulus check we was all like when we getting it when we getting it they sent us a stimulus check i wasn't keeping up with it this go around and so when i got it and i checked my account and this is another part of like this isn't the main word but this is for somebody like it's pending and i don't care if we're talking about like a financial blessing or whatever it is it's pending because i actually checked my account help me holy spirit when they said i got the cnn notification that stimulus checks went out and i was like what so i checked my account and i didn't see no money and i was like well megan didn't get it this first go around 
later that day something told me to check like if y'all banks like mine like it might not show like on the main um screen for the account but if you go to like the details it'll show the amount pending and i didn't do that earlier that day i just looked at the overall one and was like oh i don't see it i guess i'm not getting any money help me holy spirit because this applies to the promises but when i clicked on the details i saw that it was pending help me holy spirit okay so that's not just for these financial blessings okay it's for all the promises and stuff okay it's pending you might have to go look at the details okay and the only way we can see those details is if we go have that quiet time with god right we're in the secret place with god our father so then you'll find out that it's actually pending okay so it'll, it, it might not be on the account yet but it's pending so anyways once we got the stimulus check i was like i did have a dream and in this dream i got three separate checks and i remember the amount for the big one and um I remember thinking in the dream like, Lord, how am I coming into this money? Cause you know, like I know my salary, I know what I got going on. You know, even with the um, you know, I do the blankets and stuff. Like, I know, I know, like how am I coming into that? You know, and so um, it, listen, there's a couple of ways you be coming into this money. Your inheritance, okay, which means it's just what your father wants to give you. Um, your gifts and your talents, you know, bringing in money for you or um, business and to that extent. You know what I'm saying? And so this is what's going to go into the other word like father how am i going to come into this money so this is going to go into the other word so just remember that but um i had that dream and so when we got the stimulus check i was like well i did dream about three different checks and i knew that the like it was too i want to say chump change because all money is money that is um needed so i i don't like coming off like that but in comparison to the third check that i had in the dream the other two were like way smaller okay and so this is the other dream um, that I want to talk about in this dream. I'm in a car with uh, I'm in a car and I know it's like brother my brothers and sisters in Christ right ignore that okay, so I'm in the car and um my the person I'm with they had just came into 20k because I'm, I'm gonna tell you the exact amount of this dream they came into 20k and so i'm in the back seat and i'm like oh my gosh like twenty thousand dollars like how many of us need twenty thousand dollars like your girl I, it's a lot i could do with twenty thousand dollars okay like we, a number of things we can invest we can pay off our credit cards we can pay off student loans we can if you're older and you have you know like um kids and stuff that's for their school and the stuff they need you know like the list goes on you know what we could do with 20k get these cars hello hello okay so you know put a down payment on them or something so it was 20k and so i'm in the back seat geeks like whoa you got 20k you got 20k you know hype and i was like what you about to do with your 20k because like i just said like even in the dream i was aware of like the different things that you could do with the 20k i was like yo you could like really set yourself up like this is good this is good i was like what you about to do with it they flat out told me like i'm finna blow it i was like what and i remember thinking and dreaming like what you mean you finna blow it like that was i'm finna blow it and i was like huh come again like who would just say i'm gonna blow blow my money like this money i just came into like i don't think anybody sets out to do that so i think it's a level of um um you know lack of knowledge ignorance in that so let's just make sure in 2021 because this is for me too that we are being um more financially savvy that we're researching things to better manage our money and just do better with our finances okay because i think a lot of the times we blow it and we don't see or understand that we're blowing it okay so they were like they're gonna blow it. i was like why would you do that like you could like get an apartment put down on a car like i was telling them that stuff and they're like you need this money to do these things to so get your stuff on your feet like that's what i was saying in the dream like why would you blow it and so they was like no i'm gonna just blow i'm gonna go buy something i don't really need like they were just telling me this stuff like, i'm gonna just you know clothes and like stuff i don't really need and i was like what like i was in the back seat so confused and so um that's where the title of this word is coming in please don't blow it and when i say blow it I don't even just mean the, a financial blessing. Like when we think about the story of the prodigal son, he did have his inheritance and he blew his inheritance. And we know it was, um, you know, like on living wild and prostitutes and all of that. And even in that video, in the coming home video, I say, you know, like that don't just have to mean like money though. Like don't blow your gifts, don't blow your talents. Don't do that. Cause what God blesses you with, listen, okay. It's the, you know, build up his kingdom, build up his body. It's to help you so that you can help others. Don't blow it. So don't just go for money. It goes for all of that stuff, okay? And then lastly, um, so we're sitting in the car and I was feeling some type of way that they said they was going to blow it like 20K. You about to blow that? And so I was like, okay, so are you at least going to give the 2K back to, and in the dream, it was um, one of my aunties actually. I was like, are you going to give the 2K back to them? 
and um, I didn't figure this out until afterwards. And they was like, um, no, I'm not giving them the 2K. And I was like, but you wouldn't even be able to have the 20K had she not gave you the 2K. And then, so when I'm saying it, I'm understanding what's happening because I didn't know that. So when I'm saying it in the dream, the person came into the 20K because our auntie had gave them um, 2K, right? Like my auntie had gave them 2K. And I didn't even do the math or nothing until afterwards. And so um, they were like, I'm not giving them that back. I'm like, but you wouldn't even have the 20K had they not gave you the 2K. Like, I was mad in a dream. Like, I didn't know what was going on. And they were like, I'm not giving it back. And I was like, what? And so then I woke up. And so with that, and so then I ended up talking to my sister about it days later. 2K is 10%, okay, of 20K. I didn't even, I didn't even do the math. And I was like, 10%? Like, you think God is talking to us about tithing? Like, that's what I had asked um, Morgan. And so let me wrap this up real quick because, um... Y'all hear the dings and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so 2K is 10%. And so this is what I want to say. Keep tithing. And one of my financial goals for this year, because I have sat down with my financial book. I should have got it so I can show y'all. But one of my goals is a tithe consistent, consistently. I generally do tithe consistently. Um, of all the checks I get throughout the year, I maybe miss one or two and not even on purpose. And so sometimes I try to, but it's not about me. The point is, that's one of my goals. We need to tithe consistently. Now, if you're someone who doesn't tithe, you don't belong to a church, um, or you don't believe in tithing, whatever the case may be, I'm strongly encouraging you to um, maybe reevaluate that and go talk to God about it if you haven't already. Because I just don't, I, my personal opinion, because I know he ain't told me don't tithe, okay? And some people will say we're convicted differently, whatever the case may be. Let me let me say this. I think in some of my videos, I always, in a few of my videos, I've said, like, I ain't never wanted for nothing financially. I never have. And I'm going to link a blog post about how I started tithing. That's on prettydays.com. But I do believe that that is because I've been tithing since I was a child, like, with my allowance and so when i got older when i worked at mcdonald's when i worked as an intern now as an adult i have always tithed even in the seasons where i wasn't um where i needed to be on my walk i tithe okay and i think it's part of it was from a fear like a reverence like understanding that it's not mine to begin with okay and i don't want to make this about um like go tithe i don't want this video to be that but i'm gonna link the um blog post if anybody wants to go read it but I've just literally never wanted for anything financially or been in a place of need to that extent. Like, I've always been straight. And then the times where I didn't tie, like the few times, I got robbed this one time. And I was like, man, I know that's because I ain't put my money in. You know, like, and some people say, like, that's not necessarily it. But I know what God has been, like, listen. And then some people argue different things because, you know, tithing back then was giving up your cattle and all that. I'm no cows to go give back to God. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I get by and I buy my food and stuff with money. So that's what I tithe, okay? My offering. And so I understand people have their different opinions, but listen, this is just me. I can only speak for myself, my life. I know that I have been doing that consistently and I believe, okay? Um, it, it's made a difference in my life and my finances. Like, I do get surprised, money surprised. Like, where did that even come from? And I, God blesses us. And it's an understanding that it's not mine to begin with. It's an understanding that we are to not only tithe, but, you know, be generous. He blesses us to bless others, okay? So don't be stingy because it ain't yours anyways. So maybe I'm going to say that. So even with that, don't be stingy because in the dream, like, what you mean you're not going to give it back? And I remember saying, like, but you wouldn't have even got the 20K without them giving you that 2K to, you get what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't have no money in your pocket at all if it wasn't God deciding to bless you with it so don't hold on to your money so tightly okay help me Holy Spirit because I didn't even feel like I, I didn't think I was doing all that today but we know the scripture is Malachi 3 and 8 I'm gonna read it real quick so I can sign off um will a man rob God yet ye have robbed me but ye say wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and offerings and again like tithes is a 10 percent offerings that can be some of the smaller money or you donate into a specific cause at church or you're giving um to different things within the church but then also like your gifts your talents and things like that okay don't rob God because he gave it to you to begin with it's already his okay so is one more thing the other check in the other dream i'm sorry y'all this is a little sporadic but it, i told you it was three checks one of the checks in the other dream um i got it because i said no and i was asking god like okay why did i get paid for saying no you get what i'm saying so it was two things because i couldn't figure out it was one or the other and so i'm gonna just share both with y'all and they, they kind of go together um some of us we're gonna get paid by turning down some opportunities 
because God can't bless you the way that he wants to bless you if you are out of alignment, okay? Take that, run with it. I got paid in the dream when I said no. Like I was like, and here's the other part. People are gonna be offering you um, money to do things that are not in alignment. So if you have this love of money and you just gonna be doing it for the money, but you're out of alignment with God, okay? And you don't want to do that. So that was the two parts. But he can't bless you the way that he wants to bless you if you're out of alignment. So we need to be mindful of these opportunities and the way that these financial blessings, because the devil, look, he be playing. He can reward people who doing stuff for him, okay? So just be mindful of that and make sure you're in alignment. But whew, I said all that to say, do not blow it, okay? Because like I said, in the other dream, they came in all that money and they was like, listen like what are you doing and then you didn't want to give back like you wouldn't even had it had they not like you know what i'm saying so just be mindful um i pray that y'all can get something from these dreams like i said i don't always go in 100 percent detail of like everything and like i know it's be more meat left on the bone so just like pray about it and if the holy spirit nudge you in some part of it take that back to god okay so that's what i want to tell y'all cars and checks keep tithing um yeah and just be mindful and make sure you're in alignment, okay? Like, it's all God's to begin with. But he don't want you out here. We are the, um, we are the lenders, right? Not the borrowers. That's how he has set up his children to be, okay? He don't, he didn't plan for us to live no lives of, um, lack. Because Jesus came to give his life and give it to us more abundantly, okay? Here and in heaven, eternal life. So that's it. I love y'all. Be blessed. And stay tuned for the next one, which will kind of branch off from this one. Y'all be blessed.